on YouTube today I'm going to be showing you how to download Backtrack 5 on VirtualBox. So first you need to go open up a web browser and go to virtualbox.org go to downloads and then download whatever um your operating system is Linux, OS, IX, Solaris, and Windows and then you want to go to after you finish that, um, it's just a basic download, so you should be able to get that. You want to go to that track, uh, hyphen linux.org, and then you'll want to go to downloads. And then, um, right here you'll see a basic screen, just put in, uh, your info. I don't think it has to be real, but. And then just say register and download. What you're gonna do is um click backtrack five. Uh I would just pick GNOME. Uh 32 bit is fine for me. Click ISO and direct download. And then once you download that you should be able to it should take around depending on your internet speeds around 30 minutes. So um now that, that you have that I saved my backtrack right here in uh actually you don't have to download the original backtrack, you can download the backtrack R1 if you want, but so here is that so once you open up your once you install all those and everything, you wanna go to your virtual box and you wanna click new. Click next and then type in back track 5 it's fine and then uh, you're going to click Linux and then Ubuntu CC4 bit and then for your base memory size I would pick let's say 1224 1, megs is alright uh, now you're gonna go to uh, start up disk, create new hard disk, and you're gonna go to uh, virtual box disk image. Get that. Click dynamically allocated. Uh, you can leave eight gig is enough, I guess. Or if you want, you can uh, turn it up a little bit more. If whatever. Um, click create. Uh, create. Now you that you have this, so now you're gonna power this on. And click OK. Click Next. And right here you see uh you, all this stuff. Well, you are not gonna see that, but you'll click the folder, and then you'll go to your wherever you save this at. I pick somewhere that it's gonna stay because you don't want it to be moved around. So pick a standard spot for it. Click this and uh click next. I let this load up. You click enter, press enter, click OK, uh press enter, press click it for that, click that it's gonna be giving all these GUI errors and stuff. Alright, let this load. Um, on. Alright, uh, now right here you're going to type in start x. And that's going to create the GUI interface for you. Alright, now here's your Backtrack 5 installed and ready to use. Show you a bit around. So you're under applications, you have disk, you can not read all these, but um, there's that. Under Backtrack, there's all this. There's a lot of stuff to use, a lot of stuff to. A lot of good stuff there.
and you should be fine now. And if you want to, uh, also you can set up install guest additions. And I'm pretty sure what this does is where it'll link your VirtualBox with your Backtrack 5 to your main computer that you're running this off of, where you can send files to each other. So, uh, thanks for watching, and if you need any help, you can message me.